Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I have modified this a little bit. I still have a bottleneck there of three quarter because that's the only way I can get from this sanitary fitting right now to other stuff that I can source locally. I have more sanitary equipment coming, uh, which is this type of connection here and here and here that will allow me to branch off with larger inch and a half, or in this case, it's 38 millimeter uh, stuff. So um, I can close these off individually. These are two different size jets. This one is 11 gallons per minute. This one is seven gallons per minute or 10 and seven. I, I don't actually remember. Um, so around 17 or 18 gallons per minute with both of these open and I can pressurize the system with those shut. There we go. And so we're, we're at full pressure now. And I'm going to open both of these up. I have the charge controller off inside. So this should be open circuit voltage uh, free spinning. So let's turn them on. I'm going to start with, uh, we'll start with a small one first. And we can see it in there. And this is actually a 3D printed nozzle that I made. And it looks to be pretty good. But there's a little bit of stiction in the turbine, so. Just seems a little bit of a nudge and then it starts spinning up. So that smaller nozzle at about seven gallons per minute is not enough to really get it up to full operating uh, RPM. So here we add the big nozzle Oh, I'm shutting off the wrong one. <laughs> Here we have the big nozzle. Now, I did actually have to shut this off or turn it down. You saw when I shut this off at the very beginning of the video, I had it turned down so that it wasn't so loud. I could actually hear it from the bed and it was enough to be a little bit irritating. But it, it only makes that high pitch noise. Maybe you can hear it now. It only makes that high pitch noise when it's unloaded. So here I'm walking back into the garage where I have some equipment set up. A little bit different from last video. A lot different, you might notice. I've been having some fun with the 3D printer. Yeah, screw it, we'll put this in with you guys here. Why not? I mean, I, I hope it fits. Because I was talking about this last night on the live stream. I have this network box here and I, I already put in two caps but I needed to put in a third here and I don't think it'll work because I didn't allow enough room for these wires so I have to print another one of these with a bigger notch okay uh, system I got going here so originally I had the battery that you guys saw all before the water wheel battery and at the same time I bought this because they were both on clearance at Lowe's but I only ever filled up that one so I filled up this one last night or two days ago I don't remember actually and I I let them float and balance resting and then I connected them in parallel and now they're connected up to the charge controller that I got. Got some, you know, that I'm serious about this now because I got this baby here. So 165 volts open circuit, almost 166. This is volts DC. 
Here's my rectifier, three phases coming in, DC coming out. All of this is still temporary, and I know this is not safe, because you can touch any of those and then zzz, wouldn't feel good. <sighs> okay, I have right now the output turned off, so let's turn that on. Mode on. So we'll see the watts climb there. It's going to do an initial sweep, a uh, full sweep down to um, battery voltage in this case. So we'll see the, the watts increase there up until a maximum, either a maximum watts available from the turbine, or I have the output limited at 20 amps because that's all the wire I have is 12 gauge, which is good for 20 amps. And it is in bulk charge, so this should be full power to the to the batteries. Should get maximum here around 165, or no, 65 volts. So we'll still be increasing up to about 65 volts there. And it looks like we're going back down. So it's going to keep going back down until uh, battery voltage, which is just those two guys in parallel, so that's 12 volts. And then it's going to sweep back up to the optimum voltage that it saw. Now it's going back up. I realize it didn't match the battery voltage. Not exactly sure why. Maybe it could only go that low for some reason. Not sure. So it looks like it found an optimum there. I had this running with a single battery and the watts there will increase a little bit um, over time. Also the turbine has to heat up and let the bearings warm up and stuff. So that watt reading there will increase. We did see over 200 watts momentarily. I'm not sure why it's not at 200 watts now. We see our amps coming in as below the, the maximum from my wires. So that's not a limiting factor. I'm not sure what is exactly. Okay, uh, so that's that's the end of this video. Uh, hopefully the next video I have out will be a more formal video of the entire system and this and turning on the turbine, which will kind of be mostly this video. <laughs>